Step one, we admitted we were powerless over our addictions and compulsive behaviors, that our lives had become unmanageable. I know that nothing good lives in me, that is in my sinful nature, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Romans 7, 18. Step two, we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. Philippians 2.13 Step 3 We made a decision to turn our wills and our lives over to the care of God. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Romans 12.1 Step four, we made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. Lamentations 340. Step five, we admitted to God, to ourselves and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. James 5.16 Step 6 We were entirely ready to have God remove all of these defects of character. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. James 4.10 Step 7 We humbly asked Him to remove all of our shortcomings. But if we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. 1 John 1, 9. Step 8. We've made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Do to others as you would like them do to you. Luke 6.31 Step 9 We may direct amends to such people whenever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. Matthew 23 and 24 Step 10 we continued to take personal inventory, and when we were wrong, we promptly admitted it. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you do not fall. 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Step 11. We sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. Let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. Colossians 3.16 Step 12. Having had a spiritual experience as a result of these steps, we try to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all of our affairs. Brothers, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. But watch yourself, or you also may be tempted. Galatians 